Data, there should be a cargo that's close by. First, and there. <laughs> it's Galaga Transformer style. Ring. Finally, I got one. Seems I made it somehow. I'm not gonna lie, I think that shot that shot through Optimus. It appears the plasma energy is increasing the insecticon strength.
Everybody's wondering, can you tell dodging is not my strong point? Ah, damn it. I used the one I didn't want to use yet. Oh, well, those panels don't know. I'm trying to kick this guy's ass. Sorry. Time to kick this guy's behind. You have to kick him behind. Crowd start. Alright, now we gotta. I wanna listen to this. What? There's no voice playback on it? <coughs> Alright, proud start. I'm excited for the scientific discoveries and explorations that are coming from our mission. But, I would be dishonest with myself if I said that I wasn't also getting caught up in the Nova Prime's mission. Maybe it's how he carries himself. But the sheer idealism and hope that it emanates from the bot is profound. He truly is the best of us. I'm just a scientist, but he truly believes the spark of Cybertron in carrying a torch from the well of the all spark from planet to planet. He believes that our accomplishments, both as a species and as societies, are worthy of taking the stars to share with others. It makes my science seem insignificant against a mission with that much pride and legacy wrapped up in it. Who knows, maybe I'll convert and call myself an Autobot one day. Who wrote this, though? Just by being a scientist, it sounds like... Oh, Proudstar? Proudstar wrote it. What? I'm so confused. I know Starscream is a, uh... Is a, um... Uh, Scientist. This is Seth Gone. He's more worried about power than anything. Get too shit to care less about this place. to do and get through the door. Ugh. This house is way too much. <laughs> There's way too much there. I can't do it, man. Can't cannot do that. What the hell is that? Scanning. Identify. Cybertronian matrix bearer designated Optimus Prime. 
Through the Matrix, we can foretell your future. You will defeat your great enemy, and the war you have waged will end soon. You will lead your people so that they may face their darkest hour, but they will face it without you. You say the war will end, and my friends will be safe. That is all I could ever ask. I just shot because I thought it attacked me. I really don't like these games like this. Cause that's why. Let's open up platforms upon platforms. And fall to your doom. Plus, I felt with Optimus having the Matrix. Guys, Something like this feels more like an Optimus. With the place. unpredictability of plasma energy, there's a chance that if we blow it up, it'll take half of Earth with it. Uh, define chance. My figure's unprecise, but at current calculations, roughly 92.787% chance it will detonate. Then we capture the plasma core. I thought if I shot him more. I'm star three. Uh oh, I missed one. Oh, here it is. We sit down on a planet that had no need for cyber farming, but did offer us supplies we desperately needed for ourselves. It was shocking to see another planet so like Cybertron itself. If it was a, it was as if Primus hand hand had shaped the planet. There was no smaller life to speak of, but <clears throat> but something must have given the planet shape. We took the supplies we needed, but while there we all thought something had their their optics on us. There was, I don't know, a sense of innova invasiveness there. And it has been two cycles since we left that planet and something has changed in Nova Prime most notably. His confidence is still there, but it's changed. He appears to be driven more and more each passing cycle by his own ego. Not the righteousness of our mission, but his determination that he ha is right. And that the work must be done. I fear for where we are headed now, and I truly do mi miss my home back on Tagon Heights in Cybertron. There, we worked and lived. A simple life, but a good one. We've come a long way from... Lithone. Back then, changing the planet's core and injecting it with enough raw ore 13. There was a sense of pride and righteousness in our hard work. But now, lost in the darkness of space, we are also coming the to urges we never thought we'd have. Our journey grows even longer. We search for planets that are both in uninhabited and have enough base material to cyberform is a long and difficult one. None of us will talk about it. But we can all feel <coughs> we can all feel it. And the further from Cybertron we get, the darker our thoughts become. The crew 